Okay, next question. The following diagrams show the flower and seed of a new species of plant recently discovered by a group of scientists. Okay, so basically it's a flower and a seed. Okay, the diagrams are not drawn to scale. So that means this seed could be far more smaller than this flower could be much bigger. Okay, so this uh, what it means that these two are not the actual sizes. Okay. So they analyzed the structure of the flower, fruit, and seed and found the following. The fruit is juicy and sweet. Okay, so usually only animals can taste sweet. Right, so if it's juicy and sweet, that means it must be, uh, you know, uh, meant for animals, right? Because only animals can taste right taste the sweetness okay so we have to wonder why a plant would like to have uh, its fruit to be juicy and sweet right so that means it is uh, attractive right that means uh, animals would be attracted right to the fruit Okay. Alright, next is uh, there are many small and hard seeds in each fruit. Small and hard. Okay, uh, that means if an animal were to eat it, it can actually get into the animal uh, digestive system and it can actually pass uh, through the digestive system and uh, leaves the animal through the anus. Okay and get deposited somewhere else right so that means it has many small and hard seeds that means uh, there's a high likelihood that the animals will swallow the seeds okay the seeds will then that will then be uh, released so then we release uh, elsewhere, right? Elsewhere, uh, when the animal, uh, you know, uh, releases its waste, uh, from the digestive system, okay? Uh, are also known as uh, undigested food. Okay, I'm gonna move this elsewhere because it's uh, getting a little bit crampy. Okay, so uh, just note that this is for the second point. Okay, all right. So uh, the animals are small. Sorry, the flowers are small, colorful, and grow in bunches. So again, the key word here is colorful okay again uh, animals uh, can only animals can see all right so uh, animals are attracted right to the colors okay so again uh, the plant makes its flowers uh, colorful so that uh, animals are attracted to them and the flowers have sticky pollen grain that means it can also stick to the animals okay so what does that mean it means the uh, pollen grain uh, right can stick to the animals that visit the flowers right so as you can see uh, all the data uh, all the information given uh, we'll point you to the right answer, right? So based on the information above, what is the most likely way the seeds are dispersed? And the answer is, of course, animals, right? Because uh, it does not have to be uh, sweet and juicy and colorful for for wind to disperse it. If it's wind, it has if the seeds, uh, the the fruit just has to be uh, light, all right? Or with wing-like structures. 
uh, all uh, you know uh, uh, with parachute like structure and and the, the information given here does not state any of that if it's by water then usually it's by fibrous husk uh, able to float uh, traps air so they can float in water and no, no none of the information here given uh, supports that uh, by splitting uh, you know it, it must be contained in a hard shell and only when it dries up it will uh, it doesn't have to be a, a, a hard shell but it has to somehow have some explosive action to throw the seeds further away from the parent plant so all that uh, does not none of the information given here supports wind dispersal by wind none of it supports dispersal by water none of it supports dispersal by splitting so obviously the answer is number four because from all the clues given uh, that should be the answer so once again if you disagree with my answers uh, go to this website tell me about it if you just want to say hooray tell me that uh, you've got this question right you can also go to this website and state it so okay so with that thank you very much till the next question